I've been working on my master plan to mine the sun. Yeah, it sounds ridiculous, but I think that it may end up being the best endeavor of my life. Hey, I'm Drew Vosk. You're on the Vosk One YouTube channel. I talk about learning more to earn more in cryptocurrency, right? Deploying my capital, trying to get my money working for me and making money and stacking Bitcoins and other cryptocurrencies. Well, I've been heavily focusing on solar power. How can I utilize solar panels to generate my own electricity to run these Bitcoin and other crypto miners I have to realize a real life money cheat code. Pay off the miners, pay off the solar panels, and I have paid for miners that are running on electricity that I'm actively generating. It seems like a cheesy sales pitch that's too good to be true, but it's not. And we're not pitching you. I'm telling you what I'm doing. You of course can go do whatever you want to do. Setting up solar panels or running your own miners may not be for everyone, but perhaps you do want to earn passive income. Enter Revolution Mining, today's video sponsor. They can open up that path for you, link out below. But I absolutely enjoy making content and I try to share everything that I learn, all my research, development, everything that goes well, everything that doesn't go well here on the channel to create value for the Boss Point subscribers. Today, I'm gonna to share with you my turnkey solar mining solution you could deploy something like this anywhere in the world essentially so here's a snapshot of a mission right 42 million dollars to bitcoin miners uh, in the last 24 hours five million dollars to dogecoin miners in the last 24 hours well over a quarter million dollars to ethereum classic miners in the last 24 hours this doesn't track every cryptocurrency. Many of these coins have wild emissions and this Pepe coin, which is actually kind of the original, but not the Pepe you may be thinking of is rocketing up in price and also adding a whopping $55,000 to the mining ecosystem. I think we'll see more mineable coins launched in the future, but the bottom line is there's many different cryptocurrencies to mine and there's literally tens of millions, hundred million dollars of newly mineable coins per day right now. So, this is approximately a modern uh, day Bitcoin miner. Bitcoin miners and other mining rigs, these ASIC miners, uh, these are custom computers purpose built. Uh, they consume more energy than ever before. They're just getting bigger and more powerful. Look at these devices, power consumption, almost 4,000 watts. That's huge, that's crazy, that's kind of terrifying. You go down the list and you see a bunch of other gas hogs as well, or electricity hogs. There are, of course, are some exceptions here, but let's hone in on Bitcoin mining. So if I take a current generation Bitcoin miner, I'm honestly around 3,500 watts. I could downclock it a little bit, more grab some of these other models that are more around like 3,300, like many of the S19 models that can be had very cheap. But let's just take the S21 to make this easier, right? So this mine's about 11 to $12 a day, and then at six cents per kilowatt hour, costs about $5 a day to operate, resulting in profits of $6.44. So let's say I downclock this a little bit, I'm, I'm mining essentially $11 of Bitcoin per day and I'm producing my own energy. Yes, I understand the solar panels have a cost, all that. Let's just take that 11 bucks, right? Over 365, it's $4,015. And then let's break that out over 10 years or whatever. It's $40,000. And then if we take some of these mock solar systems I've created, right? So if I had a 50 panel system with the REC 430 solar panels, right? So 50 solar panels, uh, and let's say I'm using 50 micro inverters on these, this is a great residential system setup, and in my area, uh, you may be subject to standby charges if you go over this size, if you don't switch to a commercial system. I am gonna consume around 29,000 kilowatt hours per year. We could essentially think 30,000 kilowatt hours per year, right, if it's a little bit more power than this, to run that miner 24 seven, 365. This is what that equation comes to. That's almost exactly this 50 panel system. Everyone who's been commenting on my videos about different ideas, different options. Uh, some people have emailed me, especially you, Todd. I really appreciate those emails. They're very interesting, very cool to see, and they've really uh, opened up my mind on some different routes. I'm not dead set on this. This is what all of my research has led me to here as a plug and play turnkey residential solar system to also run a Bitcoin miner without ever lifting a finger. And I just wanted to share this data. If anyone ever wants to go out there, grab this and run with it, um, I'm going to be doing 
a hands-off residential install and then a hands-on commercial install let me show you a couple commercial level installs right same thing I, I did this in open solar it's free software it's what all these solar companies use to quote you with uh, take five minutes figure out how to do it it's very easy uh, and uh, and if you don't get it then watch a youtube video on how to use it uh, so 70 panels right a 30 uh, kilowatt system 38,000 kilowatt hours per year and then what does an 80 panel system look like, right? We're adding 10 more panels of the same exact stuff. 43,000 kilowatt hours per year. So how much is my like home using? There's, there's a good amount of variance and sometimes I may have been running um, some supplemental gear in the house. I roughly use about 1,500 to 2,000 kilowatt hours per month living in my home, working from home sometimes, running some computer hardware at home, uh, and then doing a little bit of mining uh, gets me around that number. That equates to about 24,000 kilowatt hours per year. So that initial system would be good for me to do what I'm doing and not run a miner. I need a lot of additional solar capacity and able to run a miner 24 seven. Uh, I'm basically looking at 24 plus 28, which would mean that I would have to produce 52,000 kilowatt hours per year. But I think by being a little more conscious with my energy consumption at home, and I think my number is a bit high, not accounting for many times that I was running a miner uh, in my house over the last year, looking at my historical use, that I think a system around 43,000 kilowatt hours uh, of generation per year would work to allow me to have 100% electrical offset on my home as well as having a full offset on the miner. And here's the deal. If I run out of 100% offset, I can just simply pay an electricity bill to run it. But I also have a mining farm where I pay seven to eight cents per kilowatt hour uh, to operate it. And I would be better off just moving the miner there. So what I'm thinking here is, you know, get free heat and all the cold months in the house for free with this, uh, power everything in my house for free with this, monitor my energy, and I'll probably just have to take the miner uh, to my mining farm for a couple months a year, which I would do in the summer when it's hot and I can't reuse any of that excess heat. Or I could downclock the miner, run it 24 seven and forget about it, or I could look at utilizing a different mining rig that just simply consumes less electricity. And then I'm completely hands off and don't have anything to think about. But uh, what does this cost? So if you were to put these panels on your house, they're gonna be cheaper. You could definitely get that 50 panel system like I was talking about from an installer not doing anything for around 40 to $45,000. You gotta, Get a couple quotes, you got a campaign, you might have to be like, hey, you need to give me a better price. You can DIY it for even cheaper, sure, of course. I'm trenching around 300 feet and I'm doing a ground mount install. It's raising my cost to basically $3 a watt if I do not lift a finger with this install, which means that on my 21.5 kilowatt system, basically gives me full offset on the house and lets me run a miner in the winter, we're looking at like $66,000. If I wanted to add another 30 panels to this, like right, go all the way up to the 80 panel system, that would cost me another $37,000 with this company. And again, let's think about those numbers. And obviously crypto is always changing, you never know, but historically Bitcoin's rising. So I think that this will work out even better if I hold this coin. But if I take 11 bucks a day times 365, it's $4,000, right? And then over the next 10 years, I'd mine $40,000 of Bitcoin. It would probably triple or more in that time and be worth well over $100,000 in a single miner paying for my solar system and giving me free electricity essentially for the rest of my life. I don't know the future, but uh, for one example, if you ran a Bitcoin miner throughout the previous bear market and you held all of your coins to now, it would have paid off your entire solar system to run that Bitcoin miner indefinitely, right? So the problem here is getting credit uh, to be able to basically borrow money and deploy this kind of infrastructure, right? The miners, the solar panels, or 
having the capital to simply do, you know do it yourself or invest yourself without some sort of credit entity uh, and of course we have opportunity lost would our money have been better spent elsewhere but there's something incredible about liberating yourself uh, from being beholden to the electrical companies for potentially the rest of your life like for one additional example i'm going to live here for the rest of my life so if i can pay off my solar system i will have free electricity for the rest of my life, assuming this stuff's good to go and lasts as long as I do. I think solar power coupled with cryptocurrency can absolutely be a very unique wealth generating tool. I think solar without integrating a miner is a very good tool uh, for a conservative investor type uh, and also just wealth preservation, right? Not paying an electricity bill for the rest of your life isn't gonna make you rich but that gives you more money to live with that gives me more money to invest with and man what a cool liberating feeling previously i showed a bunch of other uh, solar install quotes that i got uh, just to give you some additional data i'm in virginia in the united states of america and again this does mean uh, that all these installs are ground mount arrays they are also over 300 feet from uh, my meter uh, there's a lot of additional cost to the system as opposed to putting it on your roof that would essentially drop your cost a dollar per watt installed. I'm thinking about pulling the trigger on this, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. If you think this is a good idea, a bad idea, if you would change the system design, if you would do something else. Uh, but at the end of the day, I'm looking to get into the energy production game because I have a mining farm. Now I'm thinking how can I power it super cheaply, right? Or even just become my own electrical provider. You're watching the Boss Coin YouTube channel. I try to share all my knowledge and alpha and research here. Hope you enjoy it. This is 10 Seconds of Tales. We run 10 Seconds of Tales in every video because that pup is the most adorable pup in the world. And I uh, hope you're having a good one. If you're not, well, try to start having a good one. You know, a lot of stuff is mindset, positive thinking. It's a powerful thing. I'll see you on the next video, hopefully.